need to come here. We have a lot happening. We're going to find out everything that's happening in Northfield. Pete Mergens hosts our Professional Pride Realty Show. He was unable to be with us today. He is, well, he's busier than a moth in a mason jar right now, so he's not able to join us. But Todd Bornhauser, who's the, what is your title, president? You're the president. Oh, yes. Yeah. You brought with you a couple of guests today, too. I brought the uh, good-looking <laughs> women of the office with me today, so... Well, you can say that. You're their boss. Well, yeah, but I can still get in trouble for that, so... Yeah. Jeez, <laughs> well, I don't know why you'd get in trouble for complimenting them. <laughs> yes, Mr. Attorney. Yeah. <laughs> you can get in trouble for just about anything. Well, that's that true. true. <laughs> These days, that's true. <laughs> anyway, we're here to talk about everything that's happening in Northfield, and you got a lot happening. Well, I got a lot of bills on the desk because it's trying to do some paperwork while we while we uh, get sure. ready and start with this. So, um, housing market uh, is uh, peaking up. Should I do my house? Should sure. I do Pete's housing? You do the Pete. You do the Pete housing. Looks to me like there's uh, a lot more listings that, or at least I've noticed, a lot more signs out. So it looks like maybe the the uh, the inventory is getting. Uh, maybe it's picking up a little bit, but it does. Although the signs that I see is a lot of sold on there as well. So I think yeah, we're talking with Pete, I think it's a continuation of uh, if it's the right price, it goes very, very quickly, maybe even before they get the sign into the ground. So. Yeah, and I know it's done to subdivisions going very well. Right, absolutely. So we're starting to see, you know, that's kind of a nice trend here is we're starting to see uh, some pockets of, of some new uh, housing development coming on the market, and that's always helpful because it helps uh, kind of churn people can now uh, look to have some place to uh, sell their house and 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 have a place to move to, and you know that just opens up the marketplace. And of course, something there, that we're kind of missing over the last couple of years here. And theirs is a retirement subdivision, which really fits a niche here because well, every publication known to mankind almost is named Northfield, one of the best places to retire. Absolutely, we've we've won uh, quite a few awards or designations because of that, and. Uh, so there's a lot of interest. We get, we get a few people stopping in the office looking for information, looking for relocation uh, information, and, and looking at a, a wide variety of different products that might be available out there. So, And Pete was mentioning last time we were on the air that a lot of people that stop into his office are of that vintage right? looking for homes. Absolutely. You're starting to see, uh, you know, I think as the baby boomers are starting to age and um, – for some people who are very fortunate that uh, they are actually empty nesters, but uh, for many of us, there's uh, we're empty nesters for a little bit, and then somehow the kids come back for a while, and then they leave and come back. So once they finally leave for good, then it's the opportunity of looking maybe to downsize and declutter, as my wife would say. Yeah. So you think that's going to come down the pike someday for you? I'm hoping, but you know we got we got a few more years. So, and actually, uh, sometimes it's nice to have the kids around. So, uh, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I know you guys have a golf outing coming up. We're going to talk about on the show, right? Got golf outing coming coming up. We've got uh, a couple uh, networking events that we have coming up in June. But there's a lot of exciting things else going on, both on the CBB side and then with our downtown. Uh, Northfield Downtown Development Corporation. So, um, and so, uh, looking forward to ha- hearing some of their uh, what they have coming up as well. I see they're incorporating some arts with Absolutely. some of the events here in Northfield. Absolutely, that's so. a natural. You got so many good artists in this region. Yeah, absolutely. Another thing that we're known for. So, might as well jump on the best thing you're at wagon you know what absolutely I'm there's absolutely. no sense in hiding that we're going to take a little break here john and then we're going to come back and talk more professional pride realty just off highway three in northfield one professional pride realty northfield 938 at kdhl let's head back up to professional pride realty and gordy cosfeld for more of today's am minnesota 38 at KDHL. Let's head back up to Professional Pride Realty and Gordy Cosfield for more of today's AM Minnesota. All right. We've got a lot to cover and not a ton of time left to cover it. But, again, Pete Merkins could not be with us today. He is really busy, and we want him to be busy, right, Todd? I really do because uh, if he's busy, that means he's selling houses and uh, making money, and then I can pick his pocket for it. So oh it's all it's all works in a cycle here. So it's very good to keep Pete busy. 
don't they say the average dollar turns over seven times, something like that? Absolutely, that and that's why we we always talk about um, you know be local, buy local. Your sh- your shopping local programs and. Um, uh, you know, I, you know, every dollar that you spend on Amazon just flies away. It never comes back to the community. And, and there's a reason why it may cost a few more dollars here in town, but those dollars stay here in town. And that's what we, you know, when we're back on, knocking on the merchant's door looking for a sponsorship or uh, a donation, that's where that comes from, those, those dollars that stay back here. So we can't talk enough about um, you know shopping local that brings that point back that yeah those dollars come back sponsoring little league teams all that right right so it's it's critically important for us and you know a vibrant people shopping downtown makes a vibrant downtown makes those buildings uh, you know property values stay up collect taxes pay employees it just it's it's all a win-win and uh, we just need more people to kind of be take that more into consideration when they're shopping these yep. days. We're very blessed in in both Faribault and in Northfield of having vibrant downtowns. Absolutely, and so I want to turn the mic over to Jenny Rooney, uh, the the executive director of downtown Northfield. Um, so talk a little bit about some programs that they've got coming up this summer. We're really excited to help collaborate. I remember how to say that word. So. Collaborate. Yeah, absolutely. So here, let's turn it over to Jenny. Jenny, how are you doing today? Well, I am super. I uh, just want to invite everybody to save a couple dates on their calendars, June 1st and June 21st. Those two evenings, we've got a lot of fun things planned in downtown Northfield. Uh, June 1st is a an art crawl, and we're starting this. It's called First Friday Art Nights. So this will be our first one, and it'll continue every first Friday of the month. So from 5 to 9 p.m., You'll just wander through downtown Northfield, and inside businesses, we'll have art going on. It's all free, open to everybody, uh, and it should be a lot of fun. A few examples of things we've got lined up. We'll have poetry readings at Imminent Brewing, some live music with our own Sam Ryden from Northfield, uh, even a little belly dancing at Tanzanwald and Bridge Square. Oh, my. Some Korean uh, martial arts sword dancing. The Northfield Dance Academy will have dance performances going on. Uh, some opportunities to make art. We have a special Northfield community coloring poster. Everybody can color part of it. And so it's really going to be a lot of fun. All ages, free, open to the public, June 1st from 5 to 9 p.m. in downtown Northfield. Sounds awesome. Yeah, it should be really fun. And then our second event uh, is the downtown Northfield Taste Tour. And that's a food crawl, June 21st from 5 to 8 p.m. That's a Thursday night. We do that on third Thursday, so people can take advantage of the specials in the stores. A lot of people have discounts that night. Uh, So we've got 11 restaurants, breweries, eateries so far participating. And so you'll just wander along from restaurant to restaurant. Use your tickets that you buy from us. Each ticket is a dollar, and then each restaurant will price their offerings in a number of tickets. So if you go to the Contented Cow and you want a 7-ounce beer, that's going to cost you three tickets. Uh, So we'll sell tickets in advance this year at our office at the Northfield Business and Tourism Center, 19 British Square. Those will start on June 18th, Monday. So if you want to buy them in advance, come down there. Otherwise, you can get them the night of the event. Um, So June 21st, 5 to 8, come and taste downtown Northfield. Wow, 11 different restaurants and eateries. Yeah. Pubs. Yep. I didn't realize you had that many. <laughs> we might still have a few more, but that's the count today. So Cool. If I'm hungry, Northfield's the place to be. Absolutely. And this year we're adding the, both of the breweries, so Eminent Brewing and Tanzanwall Brewing, and the Contented Cow will all have things. So if you want to sample some local brews, that will be included. So food on Thursdays and art on Fridays. That's right. You got it. That's what I got to remember. <laughs> right. In downtown Northfield. So how's the job going so far? Really great. Uh, we're getting a lot done, and uh, I'm only 20 hours a week, but making the most of that part-time schedule, doing as much as we can. Well, fantastic. Again, downtown Northfield is the place to be June 1st. June 1st for First Friday Art Nights and June 21st for the Taste Tour. And it does look like you're going to do the art through the winter, too. Yes, we are. Yep, so every First Friday, everything will be located inside businesses, and same with the Taste Tour, so rain or shine, plan to come because we'll have it this probably wasn't really easy to organize i mean all the different art groups that you've got there that was incredible you know a lot of people know us as the town that defeated jesse james but we are also really an arts town and there are a lot of great artists so 
come and check it out. Yeah, the whole region is loaded with artists. It's incredible. What do you got for us, Lisa? Well, when you are here on Friday night, June 1st, <laughs> I invite you to spend the night at one of our great lodging facilities and um, then take advantage of the very first River Walk Market Fair of the season happening Saturday, June 2nd from 9 to 1. Um, lots of great artists um, and artisans, um, fine crafts, there's foods, there's fresh flowers, there, it's a farmer's market, and um, an arts and crafts market all um, all together right on Bridge Square. So that's really, really fun. That happens every Saturday starting June 2nd um, all the way through October. Bridge Square is just an awesome place. It really is. Any day of the week, you can um, just, well, we're just lucky now that we uh, all work right on Bridge Square. Um, you can just peek out the window, and there's always people taking advantage of just sunning themselves or um, visiting with friends, eating lunch. There's all kinds of good things happening down there. And yesterday, the popcorn wagon rolled in, and... Um, that is our sure sign of summer. So it is It is here. Is it there every day? It is there every day. Um, I'm not sure what the hours are. It's staffed by the Northfield Senior Center, which has also um, just changed their name to 50 North. What a great idea. Yep. So every day they have popcorn and soda for sale right on the square. It's a great little break time. And the popcorn is very affordable. I think it's only a, a buck or so. I mean, it's not... You know, popcorn's cheap, so it's a good little way to get outside and support um, our local senior center. So they move around, or are they at the same location all the time? They're at the square all summer long. Okay. Yep. I'll have to swing by there. It's very exciting. I um, love popcorn. Yes, who doesn't? So it's great. Um, then I would like to invite you this weekend, uh, Memorial Day weekend, is the uh, Rice County Steam and Gas Engine Swap Meat and Flea Market. They also have tractor pulls, consignment auctions. Um, they have a parade, a tractor parade, and food vendors. And that is at the Dundas Showgrounds, just south of Northfield. That happens all weekend, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Drove by there this past weekend. Man, the veterans. Oh, there. yep. A lot of people. There was a lot of people at the Veterans. That was Dundas Armed Forces Days um, where they have tons of different reenactments. That always happens um, the weekend before uh, Memorial Day. Okay. So that's a really great event as well. Got to keep that in mind, folks. Yep. That, that showgrounds is kind of one of those hidden gems that we have just right south of town. Yep. Um, there's always lots of cool things that... Um, happen there and it has a lot of potential to host other events so if you are thinking about some place then you need a great um, venue that's um, that's a really great venue for for larger events like that so it is outdoor available events. for rental i think so if you call them i'm sure they would want to work with you good note yep so, yeah, so, I mean, and then throughout June, we have all kinds of good stuff. I can't believe that we're talking about June already. It seems kind of crazy. Memorial Day weekends this weekend. It flies by, doesn't it? Um, so we have the... Not like, in winter, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It just drags, <laughs> drags on. <laughs> so starting in June, we have the first Fridays. We have River Marks, Riverwalk Market Fair starting. And then we have the Cannon River Clay Tour, which is Father's Day weekend, the 16th and 17th. That is um, 10 local clay artists, and then they have um, an additional 11 clay artists that they bring in to their studios. You can travel from studio to studio and um, check out all of their different clay works of art. And it's amazing. Um, you, you think like clay pottery is clay pottery is clay pottery, and it's just not true. There's so many different spins on that i don't even know what to it's just really really cool and they have um they have it for sale in their studio so that's really fun they're gonna be artwork for sale downtown i'm glad she pointed that out during yeah. this this art thing on friday nights uh there may be a few of those people that are here and we'll have a lot of other kinds of art as well so come for both come for first fridays on june 1st and then come back for the clay tour on the 16th and 17th and the taste tour on the 21st. You could just, why don't you just move to Northfield, everybody? Oh, my. Everybody just move here. Then you don't have to worry about, you know, anything. You can just come to all of our events. And you could just live in the hotel here. You could live in the, perfect. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what you plugged at first, right? <laughs> exactly, yes. Stay in the hotels, please. In fact, you're getting a new one here. 
We are. Um, that is scheduled for later this summer. It's kind of fun to watch it just change every single week. There's there's big changes that are happening with it. Um, you know, one one day it looks like um, somebody called it the plywood palace. The next <laughs> the next day you blink and there's tons of windows. And then the next time you see it, it's getting um, the stucco put on the front. So it's really um, it amazes me how fast those big projects can go so this is it'll be exciting once that once that opens we can get in there and take a look at it yeah we're gonna take a little break here break and hear from professional pride realty john then we'll come back and we'll wrap things up during our what's happening in northfield segment with the chamber folks Professional Pride Realty of Northfield would love to serve you. The team at Professional Pride Realty understands buying or selling a home is a major life event. It specializes in, but is not limited to, residential real estate. Locally owned, Professional Pride serves the community in and around Northfield. Just like the name says, they take professional pride in everything they do. The website, ProfessionalPrideRealty.com, includes not only pictures of some awesome properties, but other helpful tools to make a home buying or selling experience an enjoyable one. Professional Pride Realty, Northfield. Gordy Kosfeld here. We are at Professional Pride Realty here in Northfield. And we are visiting with folks from the Northfield Area Chamber of Commerce. Todd Bornhauser is the president of the chamber. You got you ladies have anything else before I hand it over to Todd? I would just say if you want any more information about the Taste Tour food crawl or the art crawl. Uh, go to downtownnorthfield.org. We've got the full schedule there, and you can also find the Facebook events if you're on Facebook. Look up the Taste Tour and First Friday Art Nights. Speaking of websites, Professional Pride Realty's website is awesome. It really is. If yeah. you looked at the website. I have looked at their website. I mean, there are yeah. so many things on that website that are helpful if you're looking to buy or even sell a home. So check it out. Absolutely. Absolutely. You were talking a little bit about Memorial Day, and on Monday, Memorial Day, we'll be having a celebration uh, here at Veterans Park in uh, downtown Northfield. And I'm a little sketchy in the details other than I know I have to be there at 730. But I think the – Are you speaking? Pro, pro, no, I am not speaking. Um, but uh, – um, helping out, but uh, the, the program I think starts at nine o'clock, and then they'll be serving um, hot dogs after uh, after the service. So, um, if you want to come down and, and uh, celebrate, uh, recognize our veterans who have given a lot for the freedoms that we have today. Uh, it's a great venue that that Veterans Park. They've done a very very nice job. It is memorial, nice park. Yeah. and the memorial down there. So. Uh, Get up early, uh, come down at nine o'clock for the for the service, and then I uh, can have some food afterwards. So you can say hello to me if you'd like as well. Free hot dogs, free hot dogs. Veterans. Can't well, no, that. it's actually we feed everybody if I'm not mistaken. That's so, awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So, and then for us, a uh, big event that we have is uh, June twenty first. We have our golf tournament coming up, and. Uh, Obviously, uh, the golf tournament is a success only because of the sponsors that we have, one of which is Pete Mergens at Professional Pride Realty. So, Pete, thank you very much for doing that. He's one of our gold sponsors, along with Capital Construction that's uh, uh, located here in Northfield as well. And we have approximately 45 uh, sponsors that um, participate in the show. We have uh, someone out at every hole that's uh, giving away goodies, greeting the golfers, uh, and and uh, um, really out promoting their business or service as well. And uh, we have uh, we have 28 foursomes signed up already. So we're almost on our way to get uh, get it closer to be uh, a full uh, a full tournament. So if you're and that's in, a nice course too. And we'll be out at Willingers this year. So uh, we rotate our our uh, tournament between Willingers and the Northfield Golf Club. Well, you can't go wrong with either one of those. Can't go wrong with either one of those tracks. And so uh, we're excited to be at Willingers uh, this year. Uh, if you're interested in participating, either uh, uh, you know being a sponsor or uh, getting golfing yourself or if you got two two of you or you got a full team of four just give us a call at the chamber office or go on our website and you can register right online so oh that makes it very convenient it really does uh you know we have a we you talk about what professional prides website both the uh, chamber and the uh, uh visit northfield have great websites lots of information 
uh, about uh, events, about businesses, and then on the tourism side, places to stay, uh, places to eat, things to do. So they're fantastic websites. Um, so lots of hits. Lots of hits, yes, absolutely. That's what I'm guessing. A lot more hits than Twins get. Uh, well, they made their hits count last night. Yeah, so. yeah. Minnesota Twins I was talking about. Hopefully we'll have lots of hits this uh, today. today. Yeah, they're playing the Tigers. Playing the Tigers. Rod today. Garden hires. So. Yes. I'd like to see them get thrown out again. That would be fun. <laughs> well, that would, that's kind of typical, right? Right, right. There's a good chance. <laughs> what a chance of, what of Ron getting thrown out than rain today. That's kind of what he knows. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what he does. <laughs> Anything else on the chamber end, Tom? Uh, you know what? I think that's really all we've got going on. We've got a couple of uh, morning business brew at uh, Ziggy's and Bon Appetit up at St. Olaf is going to host our business after hours for the month of June. But if you're looking for information, what's going on with, specifically with the chamber, hit our website, NorfieldChamber.com. Well, Lisa's yeah. got a magazine in her hand. Yeah, the kind Northfield of, you know, magazine. almost very if, nice. I if, love the picture on the cover. Yeah, How they they describe that to folks, Lisa, with the picture on the cover. The shows? picture on the cover is actually um, taken from Bridge Square, which <laughs> we were talking about earlier, um, and it faces the museum. Um, it's a really pretty picture. It's kind of late summer, so the flowers are blooming, and it's there's people in town, and it's just a cool kind of shot of the square um, and the museum behind it. So did you take the picture? I did not, nope. Explore Minnesota Tourism actually took this picture. Okay, I was going to ask yep. if a professional photographer did yep. it because it's so, so they, awesome. They had a photographer in town just a few years ago, and um, I was digging around looking for a cover photo for our 2018 official visitor's guide and came across this photo and put it on, um, and my board loved it. So that's that's what we went with. And um, so, yeah, so it's a, it's a really pretty picture. It's a great summer. makes you feel like just coming down and hanging out <laughs> yep it absolutely is and it, it really does embody the whole bridge square area doesn't it it does yeah there's a looks like a dad with his little boy on his shoulders and um <laughs> so uh, somebody walking their dog it's, it's perfect time it's there. a very kind of a, a cool like come to downtown you know everybody's welcome and this is full of photos right it is yes um so speaking of photography we hired a great f local photographer named matt addington um, just a couple of years ago, and he took some great, beautiful shots of Northfield. And so our website and our magazine are kind of like a, a portfolio of Matt's no uh, Northfield work for us. So, yes, to get him, give him a, a great shout-out because he he, he's a phenomenal photographer. Yeah, he's very gifted. He really is. He really is. It's like he just can capture that that moment. Um, I caught him at River, at uh, Winter Walk, lying in the the street to catch <laughs> a a perfect photo. And um, when I saw them, I was like, wow. You know, he had he was in the slush and the dirt and the and the snow. And um, so he's very dedicated. It was it was really fun to watch him work and and then to see the finished product afterwards. Where can people grab a copy of this? You can get this in a lot. Of different places. It's at all of our hotels. Um, it's at the chamber office. Um, it's at a lot of our downtown retailers. Um, it's all over. So this is our Northfield official visitor's guide for 2018. And a lot of events are listed in there. There are. It's it's chock full of anything you want to know about Northfield. Um, anything from history to our arts, our shopping, all of our um, restaurants, all of our events. Well, most of our events. I can't put them all in here. Otherwise, <laughs> that would be the events guide. Um, <laughs> all of our lodging properties. Um Lots of ideas for recreation, recreation, and then um, also housing and education. And then um, if you're here um, and you would like to worship, there's um, a listing of churches and um, different things throughout the area to do. So, again, the first Friday starts next Friday. June 1st. June 1st. And then? The Taste Your Food Crawl, June 21st. Remember, June 1st, June 21st, those dates. Correct. Hey, those thanks. are very important. Thanks. Appreciate it very much. Thank wow. you. What thank you for having us. Formative program. <laughs> Don't you think, Todd? And the doorbell keeps ringing. Yes. I know that. I was wondering what's going on here. 
for a minute there. I thought well, my phone all that was... means is there's more people running in here to professional pride to look for a house to buy or sell. So well, that's, that's a true. good sign. Yeah, it let is that good bell sign. keep ringing. Yes, Jed, bring it right off the off the hook. Right, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Thanks again, Todd. Appreciate hey, it. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank, shout out to Pete for sponsoring yes. this uh, show. So we appreciate. Yeah, it. we appreciate it too. I tell Todd, uh, Todd. Pete told me when I was on my way up here, and I talked to him, and he said, geez, Gordy, I'm sorry I can't make it. I said, well, we'll take care of it. Uh, Todd and the ladies will take care of it. But uh, he told me we're going to have the trap shooters on next time. So Fantastic. That'll be great. That'll be awesome. We're looking forward to that. So, John, Professional Pride Realty makes this possible every other Wednesday. John, make sure you listen.